That's gone. Because I cook for him here. He tells me what he wants to eat and I cook. And he comes wow. and eats. So I know the things he eats and drinks. So when a pastor, when a person different one, I know that person when me know. I don't know a pastor. I only know him as a pastor now. Good luck. I never, I never, I never knew him as a, a pastor. His name. He found out later. That's it. his real name is Papa. People call him Papa. Papa, Papa actually is um, his name. His father gave him that name. So me saying Papi is just me, you know, adding the Papi. Yeah, I call him Papi, my dear. Now the name of the call people like that time. So I did my own mistake. And right now, I, I, I want to just, you know, free my mind. Whatever happened, happens, since no one cares about my health. So, I mean, it's good that I'm here to talk about my story. You understand? I have a lot of people here who want to come in. I don't even know how they want to come in now. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so while we are waiting for the person to, to join, just, you know, continue from where you stopped, where you said, obviously... You had this relationship with this man. You didn't know that he no, was a pastor. I didn't know and, if I know if I don't run now. I know and I with you, and me before I run. with you, he was just your boyfriend. And yes, they are saying he didn't send requests. That's a... Okay, princess. Um, Oba, I'm gonna go straight to the point. Thank you. With okay. a little, with a little that I know about this whole thing. Yeah, Halima and I were besties. At the time, I just came back from the UK. We were rolling like every day. We would hang out. We would do stuff together. Halima is a good person. If anybody comes here to say anything, anything else about her, I don't know about that. But what I know about this lady is she's a fantastic soul. She's a giver. Um, Please, do you know Johnson with me? Of course I do. I think that was 2012, 2013, thereabouts. Yeah, okay. May eighth is my birthday. That's May my birthday. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. I found the birthday mate. Anyway, so May nine, we I celebrated my birthday in um, twenty thirteen at Radisson Blue Hotel in Victoria Island, and Halima and I we stayed in my friend's um hotel back then. The man I was dating back then. And then the next day, she was crying about something. Okay. I don't want to expose all that here. And she now, I now told her, Halima, do you know what? I want to go get a tattoo. She now said, let's go. We went to the tattoo parlor, and guess what she was doing? She was, she wrote, she changed the name of Suleiman here on her finger, her pinky finger, and she changed it to something else. So that was when I knew she was heartbroken. Now, before then... Before then, to be honest, she's not capping when she said all she knows is he's into oil and gas. Because all we knew that time was Halima was dating this big man that was into oil and gas. Wow. In fact, at a point, we thought it was Dangote. At a point, we thought it was Dangote. We were like, until when I later found out it was Johnson. So, like she rightly said, they used to hang out at Prote Hotel and all that, and her place at Maryland. My pain here is, the reasons I've been crying here is, Halima is not denying the fact that she did not date this man. She's come out to tell her truth. But my point is, a man that a lady has done abortion for three times, wow. a lady that you sleep with on her period, she went through all of this. I knew when Halima was bleeding. Nobody told me. When we go out, sometimes we have to carry extra tampons, pad, and the rest of it. I went everywhere with Halima at that time. We went to all her shows. We went everywhere. We would go with tampons, pad, and all of that. Right? And sometimes when she's getting up, she'll tell me, babe, check, check, check. I don't stain. I'll be like, no, you're good. Go do your presentation. Go do whatever your award, whatever you want to do. Right? Now, my point is, the deed has been done. Nobody is holy. Um, what is his name? Johnson too is human, like Halima said. That that's what he says, that after all, he's human. But my thing is, you're not going to treat somebody's child that you dated for years like this. 
she is bleeding. She aborted for you three times. Maybe in the course of the abortion, something must have tampered with her womb. Maybe that's why she's bleeding profusely. Why did you seek medical attention for her? Why did you dump her? Why did you litter her? Where did the love you once had, had, um, had for her or had for her go? Why all of a sudden did she become so demon or whatever to you that you have she to... was saying, I have blood to, to shed. I have a lot of blood to shed. Making it look like I am the one who... Halima, stop called. crying. It will be like, the thing is just so painful. Like a human being will treat another person like this. See, even if that person is your worst enemy, right? Even if that person is your worst enemy, okay. You have all the resources, Johnson. You can take her to the best hospital and know what is wrong with her. And when they are treating her, you can just be like, you know what, we can't do this anymore, even if you want to leave her. But actually, show concern. 